Hi guys, so I'm just doing a quick water change. I thought I'd hit the record button because it uh, give me something to do while I'm doing it. So I'm doing a big water change on this tank and this tank and the quarantine tank. Um, what else am I up to at the moment? Um, I'm going to roll there a couple of ranchu today off that Lucky's ranchu. Um, I want them for this tank down here. Let's have a look anyway. So what I like to do with the water changes is drain it right the way down when I've got goldfish like when I've got other fish like I, d I don't know how to explain it but like when I've got goldfish in the tank like I can almost feel what the water's quality is like um, I don't really get that with other fish I, I, it's a hard thing to explain but I know with goldfish when they need water changing um, and I always like my philosophy is massive water changes constantly um, but I'm a heavy feeder so you get some people who just hardly ever do water changes um, they say they don't do water change and stuff now that's great if you've got a planted tank and a low fish load but when you've got big fish and you feed heavily um, stuff goes through the roof quite quickly um, so here's the other tank I'm going to do a big water change on that um, I've been feeding heavily the last few days and I'm still worried that the you know the fish load in here was quite low so And now it's, I'm feeding heavily. I'm worried that the cycle might not be keeping up as much. I went to fish shop to buy test kits. Um, and they didn't have nitrate test kits, which they wanted me to buy a whole test kit. Now, they've already stung me for that twice, so I'm not having two whole test kits worth 50 quid nearly sat in a cupboard just because I want a nitrate. That's not how it works for me. So these ones are doing great. Um, they look like they've really put a bit of size on in the week or so about them. I mean, I don't mean like length, I just mean like width. I've just fed Rapashi. So today, this morning I've come in, I've fed uh, Saki Hakari. I don't, I don't even know whether I'm pronouncing that right. I've fed that and then I've just been in and fed Rapashi now and then this evening I'm gonna come back in and feed some bloodworm. Um, I'm just feeding, feeding really heavy, heavy, because I want to get them uh, growth spurts on them if I can. Yeah, so I'm gonna take this right down. This, and usually I go bare bottom on my uh, plants uh, on my tank. See, I, but I don't know. I like, I'm enjoying this at the moment. It's something different, but with goldfish, I usually go bare bottom. And with this tank, what I'm thinking of doing is put, getting a big piece of driftwood and gluing loads of anubias on it. I, th I think that would look like a really cool visual because this is five foot long. So I've got like a four foot, four and a half foot piece of wood, you know, like a twisty piece of driftwood and glued loads of anubias on it. I reckon that would look really cool, like loads of it, and just keep every time I go to the fish shop to buy me bloodworm and pellet. Just getting more. Um, this tank I've set it up to cycle. I've got my fluval thing there going and it's circulating water. Um, this substrate, I don't know how to get rid of it or not. Like I say, normally I, I go bare bottom, but like my plan with these is to keep them in here for six months and then the pond I had outside, I'm thinking of getting three of them one for these, one for Big Bob. He's just chilling down there. Keep swimming back to this corner and coming back out, which usually if a fish hides, it's not a good sign, but like I haven't seen anything wrong with him yet. So, and then another pond for these, so I'm thinking three ponds outside, 12 foot, and then getting some of these and like a water butt. Like I've been making water up in this, so it's up to temperature because it's freezing outside, so I can't just put tap water in because as you can see. At 22 and a half degrees in here, it's in the top tanks anyway. So, anyway, back to what I was talking to. So, this tank, I was looking at getting a big piece of wood and gluing loads of anubis on it. I, I reckon that'd just be so so cool that aesthetically. And then, this tank, as I say, the substrate in this tank is what I'm thinking of doing is getting the same lights for these. These are the uh, all pond solution LEDs. Um, I think these are great budget lights, they're about, four, about 30 quid each. Um, or 25 I think um, 
I'm thinking of getting the same for these, obviously. You could get the Fluval 3.0, which is like probably 10 times the price. Um, but they're not 10 times the quality, are they? And then with this one, I don't know whether to keep the sand. Well, I'm going to keep it for now, the substrate. And then I'm going to get the rocks. I'm, I want some... So I want to get some like beach pebbles and put them around because I'll say I'm going to get some hill stream loaches and I think they'd hang around on the rock. I think that'd be cool. Um, but that's that tank and then we've got this tank. These I'm going to pop in here for now. I like that's my philosophy. Like loads of big water changes. I, like I don't want what Friday. I don't want Friday or Thursday. It's now Monday and I'm doing the same again. Like. Because I just I drive me nitrates down to the bloody virtually undetectable. The problem with that is this scale. I don't know whether anyone's heard of it, but like on this scale, like you got like a it's like a, a regression type analysis. I don't know whether you like you know where you got like a graph like that. I don't know whether you'll know an regression a regression, but it goes that it's linear. And what it says basically is um, like a healthy tank should go that. And on this side is nitrate, and on this side is phosphate. So if you've got like high phosphate and low nitrate, so it pulls that this this way, the graph this way, like the perfect tanks that way. Um, but if you've got like high nitrate and low phosphate, you'll get algae. And if you've got high phosphate and low nitrate, um, you'll get cyanobacteria. And I don't know whether it's true or not, but my aquarium, in my last house, I was struggling with phosphate a lot, which kind of makes sense. Kind of supports that theory. Now, I don't know whether that theory has been rejected yet. So there's that one done. Yeah, so there's that one. Like, I'm not sure whether I'll have that or not, but it, it, like that seems to support it. The fact that I was getting phosphates, I've got phosphates in me uh, front hose tanks in my whole house, and as I say, there was high phosphates, and I do loads of water changes. So, like, my water's usually cleaner after before I've done a water change than most people is after. It's just something I've always done with goldfish, you know, because they've got that uh, what's it called, gabba, and uh, the others. Somatostatin or something, the, the inhibitory um, hormones that they give off in the water. That's like goldfish is supposed to be high in that. So um, I don't know whether that's been debunked or what. Like I, I do with looking at some of the signs, but that's you know something that I'm cautious. Like you want to keep your water as clean as possible, really, don't you? Well, I'm not doing any. Uh, filter cleaning because we've only had the fish in the tank about a week and I'm just letting the beneficial bacteria adjust so um, I'm gonna get some sea camp stability and start dosing that what I noticed when I was doing I tried cycling the tank with it and well the tank didn't cycle very fast Um I found the water was like gin clear like absolutely crystal clear off it and when I was reading about it like the, the bacteria in the bottled stuff in sea camp stability breaks that like it says it breaks that stuff down in the in the water column the the bacteria breaks part particulate matter down in the water column and as i say the water was gene clear which can kind of support that theory in my eye um anyway what else has been going on yeah so i've ordered uh astanthin i can never pronounce it and spirulina tin in the house at the moment uh, i'm gonna get some fish meal some gelatin and i might get some garlic guard um or i might get something else and just just a dose in, in and then i'm gonna make my own fish food and i'll, I'll make a video on that I, was, I said i was gonna make a video but all the stuff hasn't come yet and um i just thought i'd hit record anyway so um 
So we, yeah, I'm going to dose this tank, that, that tank, and that tank, and that tank cycle it. Oh, this guy here, he's not upside down. Uh, I want to get a tricolour around it, like a big one, like bigger than him. Um, which would be cool. Obviously, I want to get them two around you. Because as I say, I'm gonna, these are going to go out in the summer, and I want to do something a bit more impressive. Obviously, I want some bigger tanks. Obviously, I've got this one, I like that. Um, but I, I'm going to recondition it, I might drill it and sump it, or I don't know, because I've got two matching tanks. One's, that one's 18 inches wide, and the other one's two foot. Um, I've got that four foot, got this, got, you know, I've got so many tanks, limited space. Um, that's like, that's the thing, like, with the other fish, like, although, like, I absolutely love Tanganyika fish, like the, the front hose that I had. Um, it was keeping them out here, and then I was thinking it was costing so much to, to heat the tanks, and I was thinking that money could go into like it's a juxtaposition between that and goldfish, and like goldfish will always win for me. Plus, yeah. But you know, I got a kick out of breeding, didn't I? I absolutely love breeding. And, uh, it's something I'll get back to in, definitely into the future. But the goldfish comfort, like these are my signature fish. You know, like there's other fish keepers out there who are banging to discus, um, Malaysian arowana and stingray. Right now, all these these fish need like big bodies of water. Now, and front hose it, and I think, well, if I was to have that big body of water with these fish in. What would constantly bug, bug me, the fact that I could have goldfish in that water. It constantly play on my mind, it would, it really would. So that's the water changes done guys. I'm off to buy myself some new fish, see you later.